Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. It's good to see you again. I see just some students, not, not all of them. <laughs> but, okay, only five participants. Anyways, it's one o'clock and it's time to start our class. So let me share with you the activities that we have for today's class, okay? So let's see, what day is today? Today is, what day is today? Wednesday. Exactly, today is Wednesday, September 14th, 2022, just one day before Independence Day. And today's topic is jobs and occupations and WH questions using the vocabulary for jobs and professions. So this is class number seven. Welcome everybody. Uh, let me show you the lesson objectives for today's class. Okay. The first one is by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you will also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. And by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions, okay? So let's get started with the agenda. In the activity one, we have recalling previous class, activity two, jobs and occupations, activity three, WH questions, and finally, we have the wrap up, okay? And in this moment, I am going to take the attendance. So don't forget to say present or here. Okay, I'm just giving a couple of seconds for the other students to, to connect. <laughs> now we have eight participants already, but it's time. Okay, so today's Wednesday 14. Let's start with Daniel Quintanilla. Okay, Ma Daniela Magali, Delmi Areli, Esmeralda Elisa, Gabriela Abigail, um, Jacqueline Vanessa, eh, ja okay. Jocelyn Gabriela, present. Thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, what about Jonathan Vladimir Salinas? Present. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Jose Angel Molina. Jose Vidal Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Karen Elizabeth Garcia. Present. Thank you, Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Margarita Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Margarita. Mayra Areli Mendez. Okay. Eh, Nimian Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Nimian. Victoria Ingrid. Present, teacher. Nancy Melanie Montes. Present. Thank you, Nancy. Jeremy Lisbeth Lopez. Present. Okay, and I see some other people that have just connected, that have just connected like Daniela Magali. Present. Daniel Borra. Present teacher. It's okay, Gabriela Vigail. Present teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa. Okay, no, not yet in the class. Okay, thank you so much for being on time for the class. So as I was telling you, let me show you the, um, the activities, okay? So for recalling previous class, you will see here a set of questions, okay? And you can tell me, you can tell me your opinions. For example, what jobs do you like? What jobs do you like? Can you tell me jobs that you like, please? What 
What jobs do you like? Model, driver, cook, chef. Fireman. 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 Oh. Police officer. Police officer. <laughs> okay. I like doctor people. Doctor. Okay. What else? Nurse. Nurse. Okay. Cashier. Cashier. Okay. So those are the jobs that you like. Mm, in my case. Um, I would like actress. That is a, a job I like, actress. Okay. <laughs> and also teacher. Now, another question. What jobs do you work hard? Okay, what are some examples of jobs in which you have to work hard, very hard? You have to work a lot. So can you give me examples of jobs in which you have to work hard? Examples? Um, architect? Mm. Pero ¿cómo, ¿cómo diría yo para el trabajador ya de la construcción en sí, el que lo hace? ¿no? Ah, Pero... ok. Construction worker. Construction? Worker. Worker. Yes. Construction worker? Worker, yes. That is a very hard uh, work. A hard job. Okay. What about accountants? It's mental. It's a mental work. Okay. Accountant. Other jobs? ¿Cómo se dice bombero? Fireman. A fireman. Mm -hmm. Fireman. Okay. Okay. What about cashier? Uh, at a restaurant or at the supermarket. Teacher? Okay, yes, of course. Teacher is a hard job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. More opinions. What jobs do you handle money? You have to handle money in these jobs. Okay, what cashier. cashier? Cashier, excuse me, cashier. Cashier, what else? Receptionist. Mm, receptionist, do you have, do you handle money? If you are a receptionist, I don't think so. Mm, what about pilot? Okay, en esta pregunta dice, ¿qué trabajos manejas dinero? ¿En qué trabajos tú manejas dinero? Ok, you said cashier, also an accountant, un contador, un cajero. A salesperson, un vendedor, a salesperson. Y así como, y así como para... Las personas que transportan el dinero de hasta cruzar, ¿cómo sería para decirles a ese? Mm. ¿Qué ¿Cómo diría yo él? Ajá, porque ellos manejan bastante dinero, ¿verdad? Que lo mueven de, de un lugar para otro. Para referirme yo a esa persona, ¿cómo, cómo lo diría? I don't, well, I, I don't know if there is a, a name for that, that person. But if it's a driver, like a bus driver, for example, or these people that drive, uh, rides motorcycles and they have the money, right? No sé si existe un nombre para eso. But, well, they do have the money. Okay, what jobs do you use a computer? Secretary. Secretary. Receptionist. System engineer. Computer engineer. Teacher. <laughs> okay. Managers. Secretary. Secretary. Okay. Thank you. What jobs do you use a lot of physical effort? Physical effort. You need 
to be strong because you need a lot of energy, a lot of physical effort. Mucho esfuerzo físico. Examples of jobs. For example, a soccer player. Mm -hmm. Soccer player. Mm -hmm. Soccer player, uh, atleta, athlete. Okay. Or oh, a physical education teacher. Como se dice como los corredores son runners. Yes, runners. Mm -hmm. Yes, they need a lot of physical effort. Okay, also the construction workers. A dancing? A dancer, exactly. Thank you. What jobs do you sit all day? You have to sit all day. Ah, judge. 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 Also lawyer. A secretary. A call center agent. Other jobs? Ideas? People, please participate. The more you participate, it's mm, freelancer. Okay, very nice. A freelancer. Thank you. What jobs do you stand up on me? You have to stand up. I mean, you cannot say. Well, the doctor. Security okay. guardian. Maybe doctor, security guard, police officers, police officers, soldiers, teacher. Yes. Será que te puedo pedir ayuda en algo? Okay. A ver si podemos ayudarle. Este, en la sección de la de la plataforma en la 3.10 donde dice a police offer job is dangerous tendría que ser pues de a police as a danger job ah okay if you if you want Jeremy we can see that um ten minutes before the class ends lo vemos diez minutos antes que la clase termine Ay, que ya rato me estoy dando duro y, y no, la verdad que no le entiendo. Y este, una compañera me explicó ahí, pero igual no, no le entiendo. Lo vamos a ver 10 minutos o 15 minutos antes de la clase para que allí nos, nos ayudemos unos con otros, ¿sí? Vale, gracias. Veamos la clase primero y enfocémonos ahorita en la clase. Ok, Jeremy, thank you. Ok, and now in this... Um, in this chart or in this table, you can see different uh, places, work places, for example, the hospital, the bank, the office, the restaurant, school, supermarket, on the street or outside. Okay, what I want you to do is, well, you can do this in your notebook, but in this moment, I want you to tell me the people that work in these different places. You can write it in the chat and I will, I will be uh, completing the chart here in my computer. So tell me, what are some people that work in the hospital? People that work in the hospital. Doctor. Doctor, nurse. Doctor, nurse. Reception, receptionist, ¿cómo dice, cómo dice receptionist? Receptionist. 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 Cirujano, ¿cómo se dice? Surgeon. Surgeon. Ok. ¿Cómo? Excuse me, Catherine. ¿Puede repetirlo, por favor? La pronunciación. Surgeon. Surgeon. Thank you. Surgeon. 
¿cómo se dice la persona que es encargada de la limpieza? Oh, janitor or cleaning person. Cleaning person or cleaning staff. Bien, okay. eh, vigilante. Can you repeat, please? Chef. In the hospital. Yes. A chef. Sí, para la gente que queda ingresada. Yes, you're right. A cook. Okay. Eh, el vigilante, no sé cómo se dice. Security. Security guard or security person. Okay, and there are different doctors. For example, we can have cardiologist, pediatrician, dentist, and others. And a vet also, right? For the animals, a veterinarian. Okay, in the bank, people that work in the bank. Gerente. Okay, in English, please, right? Ah, okay. So, words. manager. Cashier. Yes, cashier. Secretary. Okay. Security guard. Security guard. Executives. Different types of executives. Okay, now in the office, people, okay, different jobs in which you need an office to work in. What are some jobs in which you need an office? Lawyer. Okay, we have lawyer. Okay. The boss. Yeah, but um, mm. can we be more specific? For example. Mm. Hmm? Manager again. Okay, a manager needs, needs an office. Judge. Okay, a judge. An accountant, people, accountant, el contador. He or she needs an office. Also, um, digit, um, yes, a digital marketer. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, yeah, digital marketer, also graphic designer. Uh, okay. Call center. Okay, call center agent. Okay, now restaurant. Let's go over the restaurant. People that work in a restaurant. Waiters. Okay, waiter is for men and for women and for a woman. Waitress, okay. Chef. A chair for Yes. Let's participate. You can. Call center. Kitchen assistant. Okay, very nice. I love that. I like it. Kitchen assist. Very nice. I like your participation. La gente que hace envío, ¿cómo se diría? Delivery. 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 Yes. El que lava los trastes, ¿cómo sería? El lava trastes. Mm. Well. Oh, cleaning person. Yeah, could be part of the cleaning staff. Mm -hmm. Cashier, don't forget it. And also an accountant. Okay, 
Now, in the school, people that work in the school. Teacher. Yes, very important, right? There's no school without teachers and, the, <laughs> and the students. Okay, teachers, the janitors, right? Also a nurse. How do secretary. You okay, a secretary. How do you say? Okay, director or directora. Yes, I was going to ask you that. It's principal. Okay. Principal, yes. It's not the director, it's principal. Okay. la niñera? Nani? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. In the supermarket, people that work in the supermarket. Manager. Cashier. Cashier. Security person, right? Also in a supermarket, we have a butcher, el carnicero, right? Because you see that you buy the, the meat in the supermarket. So we can have a butcher, also a baker, un panadero, right? Because in some places they sell bread. So we have a butcher, a baker. ¿Cómo se le podría decir a las personas de bodega? A los que se encargan de surtir el producto. Ok, let's look for that. What, well, could be the supplier? Bueno, los proveedores. Ok. Ok, and on the street or outside? What are some jobs that you have to be on the street or you have to be outside an office, outside the company? Vendor. Okay, or salesperson, right? Dale, pues, dale, dale. Police? The police officer, right? Police officer. The mechanic. Okay, mechanic. Very nice. What about an, a farmer? Un agricultor, right? A farmer. Yeah. Well, also a bus driver. He's on the street driving, right? <laughs> yeah. We can say also a farmer, right? Very nice. Okay, thank you so much for your participation. It was very nice to hear your different participations. Okay, very nice. Let's continue with the next uh, to, uh, question. And this question is, what does each member of your family do? Okay, please copy this, copy this question in your notebook and you are going to answer. We're going to describe what each member of your family does. When you ask, what do you do? Cuando uno pregunta, what do you do? Quiere decir, ¿qué haces? O, ¿de qué trabajas? What do you do? For example, if I ask Daniel, what do you do, Daniel? Um, fireman. Okay, so Daniel will say, I am a fireman. I am a fireman. I am a fireman. Exactly. If you ask me, what do you do, Rocio? Mm, I am a teacher. I am an English teacher or I'm a language teacher. Okay. If I ask, for example, Victoria, what do you do, Victoria? I am a teacher. Excellent. Science. You are a science teacher now. Yes. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Catherine, what do you do, Catherine? I cosmetic. 
¿Cómo es la cosmetóloga? Oh, a beautician. Beautician. Or hairdresser. Ah, I am dresser. Hair, hair, the hair, hairdresser. Hairdresser. Yes. Or beautician. Mm -hmm. I will I will type it in the chat. Okay, beautician or hairdresser. Okay. Ready? Ah. Okay. What about Mayra? What do you do, Mayra? I am social worker. Interesting. Okay. Jose Vidal, what do you do? I am I'm Sally Pearson. You are a salesperson. Okay. Hey, yes. this is very nice. I like this activity. Okay, let me ask uh, Jonathan. What do you do, Jonathan? I am data manager. Mm, great. So you are a data manager, you need a computer. <laughs> Jeremy, what do you do? I that I take care of my children. Okay, you take care of your children. So you are a housewife. Okay, housewife. Yes, you can say your occupation, your profession. Um, and please, if it's possible, open your cameras. I, I want to see the people who I am talking to. Daniela Magali, what do you do? I am a student. Great. Gabriela Diaz, what? Daniela? Okay. Jancy, what? Gabriela or Daniela teacher? Gabriela. I work in my house. <laughs> okay, so you're a house. A house. A or housewife. <laughs> housewife. Okay. Jancy? Uh, I am a student. You are a student. Okay, excellent. Did everybody participate? Karen, can you say? I am a student. You are a student. Okay. So now let's talk about your family. Okay. You will write in your notebook what each member of your family does. For example, in my case, my mom is a babysitter and a cook. Okay. My mom takes care of my niece and also she cooks. She makes tamales, she makes soup to sell, okay? To sell, para vender, okay? My father is a truck driver. My father drives those long trucks and he travels around Central America. My brother is a bank executive. My sister-in-law is a bank loan officer. So they both work in, in banks, but different banks, okay? And my sister is a call center agent, okay? And my husband is an IT assistant, okay? My husband is an IT assistant. So those are... Uh, the jobs of my family, what my what each member of my family does. Now I want you to write about your family, okay? Your mom, your father, your brother, your sister, your husband, or your wife, or maybe your children. Okay, so I will give you two minutes, a couple of minutes for you to please complete this in your notebook too. Write about what each member of your family does. Coach. Coach, ¿cómo se dice cielo falso? Cielo falso. Ajá. Uh -huh. like 
¿Cómo? Son como panels, panels, uh, o uh, Yo le he puesto falls of escape, pero no es, no es así, ¿verdad? Es como... No, no, falls. Ajá. Feeling quiere decir el. Ah, falls selling. Ah, ok. Thank you. Or also ceiling panels. Okay, are you finished? Is somebody finished? Tell me Arely is in the class. No, right.
¿Cómo se dice bodeguero? Tiene un nombre. I'm looking, I am looking for despachador de buses, but it's bus dispatcher. Thank you. Okay, so that is a warehouse, bodeguero warehouse worker or person. Warehouse worker. Okay, I I hope that everybody has everybody have already finished has already finished. Uh, now I am going to um, well I have here this activity, and in this activity um I am going to uh, spin the wheel, okay, and the person that gets the person's names will tell us about. Their family's jobs. Okay, and we have Daniela. Okay, Daniela, you are the winner. So tell us about your family. What does each member of your family do, Daniela? Uh, my husband is a uh, construction work. Sí. <laughs> My father is a agriculture. My mom is a nanny. Ah, for me. It's a ventilator. Ah, okay, the fun. But, uh, my cousin is a delivery. Delivery. My, delivery. <laughs> delivery person. Delivery person. And uh, my uncle is a mechanic. Mm -hmm. And my brother is a accountant. Contador. <laughs> okay, very nice. Um, Aplausos for Daniela, please, for her participation. Very nice. Thank you, Daniela. 
Let's see who is the next victim. Let's spin the wheel and we get Margarita. Margarita, you are the winner. Please tell us about your family's job. Margarita? My mother is a babysitter. Um, my sister is a store manager. Okay. My husband is a accountant. An accountant. Yes. Okay, excellent, Margarita. Applauses, please. Applauses for Margarita. She did a good job. Okay. Now let's see who is the next and the last. We have. Victoria! <laughs> Victoria, you are the winner. Okay. My mother is a cook. My sister is a waitress. My husband is a Uber. Uber driver. Uh, Uber drive. Uber drive. Driver. Driver. Only. Only teacher. Okay. Thank you, Victoria. An applause for Thank you. you. Okay. Good job. Now, a volunteer, a volunteer who would like to share with the class. No los quiero dejar, sí. Mi coach. Okay, Jose. Mm, my mom is a nurse. My father is a selling panel. My brother is a mechanic. Okay, That's it. So your father is a selling panels in Chicago. Okay, my father is a ceiling panel store. Installer. Installer, ah, okay. Installer, ah. porque es instalador, ¿verdad? Instalador. Okay, installer. Great, very nice. Okay. Applause for Jose, please. Applause for him. Thank you so much for your participation, guys. You rock. Okay, so um, do you see the, the PowerPoint presentation? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. So here we have jobs and occupation. And in this activity, what I want you to do is to write a description of the different jobs. For example, what does a teacher do? ¿Qué hace un maestro? What does a teacher do? A teacher prepares classes, grades, exams, teaches in class, makes reports, etc. Okay? Prepara un profesor, prepara clases, califica exámenes, enseña en clase, hace reportes, etc. Okay? Now, what does a cashier do? So you are going to write, oh, a cashier is in charge of, or you, uh, right here, a description of this job. What does a secretary do? What does a cook do? What does a waiter or waitress do? What does a doctor do? What does a nurse do? Okay. These are some examples of jobs, but you can make or you can write your own examples. Instead of cashier, you can change for doctor. Instead of secretary, you can change for salesperson. Instead of cook, you can change for actor or singer. Okay? Okay? So that's what you're going to do. And maybe you can do it as, uh, what, what I need you to do is four descriptions, okay? Four descriptions of jobs and occupations. You will practice the third person, simple present, third person singular. Okay, so that's going to be your homework because of the time. <gasps> time flies. Que rápido se ha ido hoy el tiempo. Okay, so that's going to be your homework because of the time. And now let's review the, the structure for information questions or WH questions. We use the WH word. What are the WH word? What? Huh? Why, when, who, exactly. when, who, was, where, 
was exactly which how and others so and then we have the auxiliary do or does the subject the verb and the complement es como las las preguntas yes no questions como las preguntas de sí y no que ya vimos hemos estado viendo lo único que se va a hacer es agregarle the wh word okay for example, what does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? What does she do? Where does your sister work? ¿Dónde trabaja tu hermana? Where does your sister work? When does your sister work? ¿A qué hora se empieza a trabajar? Okay. How does... Ah, what is missing here? Según la estructura, ¿qué hace falta? ¿Qué haría falta ahí en esa pregunta? Según la estructura que hemos aprendido. WH. No, el subject. Ah, el subject. Sería, how does she get to work? How does she get to work? ¿Cómo llega ella a su trabajo? What activities does she do at work? How often does she have vacation? Vacation. So these are WH. Questions. Remember, WH, do or does, subject, verb, and complement. Mm -hmm. That is the structure. I know it. Okay. So, um, these are examples of WH questions. Maybe, uh, maybe you can copy the examples, please. Please uh, let me know when I can change to the next slide. Next slide or not yet? Next, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, now class. Um, Nimian, creo que era Nimian, ¿verdad, Margarita? ¿Quién preguntó sobre que tenía problemas en la, en la plataforma? Teacher, fíjese que eh, en mi caso... Yo tuve un problema, pero creo que es más que todo como que eh, la plataforma misma, porque incluso mis compañeros me ayudaron eh, y lo intenté de todas formas. Eh, en la parte final, donde es el examen de medio curso, entonces no me aceptaba. Era una parte donde había que ordenar unas palabras. 
y no me lo aceptó de ninguna forma. Okay. Entonces, no sé, ahí yo lo dejé en blanco y ya lo terminé, pero me ha bajado la calificación. Bueno, vamos a ver entonces. Entonces, vamos a ver primero de eh, section 3.10. And in this section, what you have to do is to change the, the sentence, right? In a different, you have to write each sentence in a different way. Follow the example, no period at the end of your sentence is needed. ¿Qué quiere decir? Escriba cada oración de una manera diferente, siga el ejemplo, y dice que no se necesita poner el punto final, al final de la oración. Por ejemplo, tenemos, a doctor's job is interesting. A doctor has an interest, interesting job. Aquí lo que está enseñando o lo que está mostrando es dos formas en cómo podemos usar los adjetivos. Por el tiempo ya no logramos alcanzar eso hoy, pero sí el viernes. Sin embargo, como leí un mensaje que les van a revisar esto hoy. Pero bueno, vamos a ver cómo es. A police officer's job is dangerous. Aquí estamos usando el apóstrofe. ¿Qué quiere decir? El trabajo de un oficial de policía es peligroso. A police officer's job is dangerous. ¿Qué vamos a hacer entonces? Vamos a decir a police officer has a dangerous job. ¿Ok? A police officer has a dangerous job. ¿Qué estamos diciendo? Un policía, un oficial de policía tiene un trabajo peligroso. Usualmente usamos los adjetivos antes del noun o del sustantivo, ¿verdad? Entonces sería antes. Miren, antes del job. Number three. A teacher's job is stressful. El trabajo, aquí estamos hablando del trabajo. El trabajo de un profesor es estresante. Entonces ahora sería a teacher. A teacher has a stressful job. ¿Ok? A stressful job. Y sí, como estamos hablando de un trabajo, un trabajo estresante, entonces usamos el article a. A teacher has a stressful job. Ok, number four. A plumber's job is boring. Entonces decimos, a plumber has a boring job. An electrician's job is difficult. An electrician has a difficult job. Ok. A vendor's job is easy. Ok. A vendor has an. ¿Por qué an? Why? Why Porque an? empieza con vocal. Exactly. Because easy is an adjective that starts with a vowel sound. So, e. Right? An easy job. Ok. Now we check. And everything is correct. Okay, so you must have it like this. Now, let's go over the midterm. Okay. And this you have to read. Let's go over the midterm. Okay, in the midterm you have some parts. The first part is listening, you have to listen. One, I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two, there are? yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? Okay, there are three bedrooms, right? Three bedrooms. So we check there are three bedrooms. And then you continue listening to answer the other questions. Now, what is the part that Jonathan is ask, was asking for? Which part is it, Jonathan? Creo que es el siguiente. 
Okay, so in this other, in this conversation, you have to complete the questions with do or does, right? For example, and the verb. In this case, is does, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de una cosa, que es el edificio de apartamentos. Is it, does your apartment building have an elevator? This does. Does your apartment, apartment building have an elevator? Yes, it does. ¿Verdad? Porque es afirmativo. Bathrooms. Singular or plural? Plural, teacher. Ah, so I use do or does. Do. do. Exactly, and it's the only one, right? Do the bathrooms have closets? No, they don't. 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 No, they don't. Exactly. Easy, right? A piece of cake. This is a piece of cake for you. Now, in these, unscramble the sentences. ¿Qué van a hacer? Unscramble the sentences and write each sentence in the correct order. Bueno, aquí las oraciones están desordenadas. Usted las va a ordenar y va a escribirlo en el orden correcto. Por ejemplo, tenemos keep them some in chairs that are that. There are some chairs in the kitchen. We have that. There is a mirror in the bedroom. ¿Cómo sería? There is a mirror, a mirror bedroom. in the bed. Exactly. No pictures the hole they are in. There are no pictures in the hall. Okay. Remember that when we start a sentence, we need to put a Capital letter. Start with capital letter. Siempre comenzamos con mayúscula. And number three. Y recuerdo también, teacher, que nos decían que al final no tenía que tener espacio. Porque si tenía el espacio, se la tomaba como mala. Yes, it's true. Thank you for the observation. Number three. There aren't. Okay, there aren't. Y también, ajá, there aren't any curtains, curtains, curtains in the dining room. In the dining room. Okay, thank you so much. So as next to me. So maybe you can try again, um, Jonathan. Don't forget, capital letter at the beginning, mayúscula al inicio. Y también hay que tener cuidado con el apóstrofe. No es la tilde. Tienen que buscar en su teclado, en your keyboard, el apóstrofe. Bueno, en mi teclado aparece debajo del question mark, debajo del de signo de interrogación, ahí lo tengo. O, o Teacher con... también... Eh... Yo les recomiendo de que se salgan del, de la plataforma y de ahí se vuelvan a meter porque así me pasó a mí, no me agarraba una y cuando me volví a meter ya me la agarró, ya me salía buena. Sí, a veces es como, ¿verdad? ¿Pichan? ¿Cómo pudiera suceder eso? ¿Picha? ¿Ya es Victoria? I do exam yesterday. Uh, I don't have a problem. You don't have Oh, no. Great, great for you. You didn't have any problems. Okay, very nice. Okay, do we have any other question? Tenemos otra pregunta, duda, comentario, sugerencia. Conmigo todo bien, gracias, teacher. Okay, Jenny. Y si no hay, entonces, a ver, ¿qué aprendimos hoy? What did you learn in today's class? Who can tell me five jobs? Who can tell me five jobs? Fireman. Ok, 
Okay, Daniel. Parema, uh, security guard, um, letter, um, police officer, um, engineer, architect, teacher, etc. Very nice. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Uh, can somebody tell me uh, the jobs of your family? What does your family do? Someone that has not participated today? Okay, Yancy. My father and my mom is a teacher. Are a teacher. Yes, my mom and my father are a teacher. My sister is a journalist. My sister is a student. My brother is an architect. And my husband is a mechanic. Great. Wow. You have a, um, different jobs in your family. And that's great. Thank you, Yancy. Congratulations. And OK, can someone give me an example of a WH question? Or you can tell the structure? Um. Repeat, please, teacher. Okay, the structure for WH questions or an example. What, what do you do? That is an example. Okay, Jocelyn, were you going to say the structure or an example? Another? WH question, do does a subject, verb, must complement. Plus complement. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Excellent. Now, can you tell me what was your favorite activity in today's class? ¿Cuál fue su actividad favorita? Your favorite activity. La ruleta. The wheel. The wheel of names. Okay. Very nice. Good. Okay. So it was a pleasure to see you today. We don't have class tomorrow. So enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your vacation. And see you on Friday. See you on Friday. Excellent. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Take Bye. Care. Take care. Well, See you on Friday. Friday. Yes, Catherine. Eh, viernes habrá clases. Yes. El, See you on Friday. Okay, thank Hasta you. Viernes si hay clase. Okay? La reposición del día de mañana. Okay? okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It was a pleasure.